Moving on now to the coronavirus in Connecticut. All eyes are on the Omicron variant as more countries are reporting cases of this new strain. Omicron has not yet been identified in the United States, but we are seeing COVID cases climb. Here in Connecticut, the positivity rate has jumped to 5.9%, essentially 6% there. That's the highest number we've seen in 10 months. 10 months. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter A.A. Galil is live now in the newsroom with the latest on this story. A.A., what is the message from health officials this morning? Nicole, that message is to get vaccinated and get your booster if you haven't done so already. At least 20 countries have detected the Omicron variant so far. Here in the U.S., researchers are preparing for its arrival and trying to figure out just how lethal this new strain is. The CDC is strengthening its stance on boosters for all U.S. adults amid concerns over the Omicron coronavirus variant. Top U.S. health officials say vaccinations, boosters, and mask wearing are key to protecting against any variant of the virus. We cannot predict the future, but we can be prepared for it. To be crystal clear, we have far more tools to fight the variant today than we had at this time last year. In Connecticut, hospitals are treating more people for COVID as the state's positivity rate reaches its highest level since January. There's definitely an increase in the number of COVID patients. Um, what has not changed is the type of patients who are coming in. These are generally unvaccinated individuals. Governor Lamont is urging people to get their booster shots. While he says boosters won't be mandated for certain workers, mask mandates in schools likely won't be getting lifted soon. If we're thinking about relaxing the masks in schools, I think, uh, you know, we're going to take some time on that. And the governor says he does not plan on reissuing a mask mandate in stores or restaurants, but some businesses may want to see proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Officials say it will take scientists a few more weeks before we know how effective current vaccines are against the Omicron variant. Live in the newsroom this morning, Aya Galel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.